guys. So, I got my Dating West today. It came late, um, and I actually have already opened it. Um, and I've gone through it already, and I tried everything on. So, I'm going to just show you guys what I got. Um, I didn't take any pictures or any video of me trying it on, so you're not going to get that this time. Um, but that's okay, because I'm actually not going to keep anything out of this package, which I'm a little sad about. But I'm a little okay with because I don't really have any money right now um, due to some unforeseen bills. So anyway, <laughs> um, well not unforeseen bills, but just some unforeseen things that have happened. Um, car problems and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. And um, yeah, I'll tell you the prices and all that stuff. So. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of here. Um, and kind of show you guys look it's just a jumbled mess in here right now because um, every package comes with an invoice so this is my invoice and it tells you um, the prices sorry so I'm actually gonna just kind of hold this here and show you guys these prices so if you want to pause here this will tell you the name of everything and the prices of everything so um, and then it all comes in a plastic bag and it comes wrapped in this pretty pink tissue paper Let's see, there is quite a bit of things in here. So, and here is my return label. Let's see, am I missing anything? I am. There we go. Okay, so we'll start with the jewelry. So, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Let's see, maybe. Okay guys, so all the jewelry, I just went ahead and took them all out and laid them out here. All the jewelry comes in these cute little um, mesh bags. These are nice because if you do decide to keep some of the jewelry, you keep the bag too. And um, you can reuse these bags for like little gifts and things like that. So, I'm going to show you this first piece. This is a necklace. Um, this is the one that I actually am still kind of debating on whether or not I want to keep because it's just really cute and simple. It's this leaf necklace and it's it's not super long but it's not super short either. So I actually really like this. Um, this was $19.99. And then this necklace, I had high hopes for this necklace. But when I tried it on, number one I had to take forever to untangle it. Um... And then it's this layered necklace. But when I tried it on, it's really cute. It's got this like pink thing. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. When I tried it on, this top um, um, necklace part here or chain here is really, really short. So it's almost like a choker. And it was just way too short for me. It was uncomfortable. Not, um, not going to be keeping that one. And that was $21.99. So... I was hoping that it would not be like that because I really do like this little, um, oh, what do you call this thing? I can't think of the word. Anyway, I really liked this part of this necklace, but I just cannot spend 21 something on a necklace that is not going to fit me. So, and then these were very disappointing. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, look, it's a nice bracelet. So, but no, these are earrings. Um... These would be really cute if they were small, but these are huge, like huge. They literally almost touch my shoulders when I'm wearing them. I tried them on just for the heck of it, just to see. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I told them that I didn't want really big giant earrings and they, the last couple times I think they've sent me really big giant earrings, so not going to be keeping those. Um, and then the earrings were, let's see here, the earrings were called Dreams, and they are $9.99, so that was the cheapest thing in the package. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you guys, let's see, let's pause here, and I'm going to move the jewelry and get the clothing laid out here, and I'll show you the clothing. Okay, guys, the next thing I got is this cold shoulder top. I had high hopes for this one. Um, this is by, let's see... DNA Couture and it's in a size large um, So anyway, so I had high hopes for this one when I 
saw it in the package because I thought, oh, it's a cute print, you know. But I pulled it out. I tried it on. It's a little too much, this print. It's really a lot going on in here. Um, really big flowers, some small flowers, just a lot of colors and things like that. And it just didn't work for me. Um, but I do love the cold shoulder. The only other thing I didn't like about it was even though it's a large, it's a little tighter in the tummy area and that is like my worst area. And then the material is not really the greatest. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. But let's see, this was called Tropical Winds in Navy and it was $29.49. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. This is kind of hard to lay out here so you guys can see it. And this, you might be thinking, oh, it looks very similar to the last thing I showed you. And it kind of is. This is actually um, what I would call a kimono. And it is called, let's see, what is this one called on here? It is called Sunshine Day. And this is, oh, wait, no, I got those mixed up. So the last one I showed you was Sunshine Day. And that was in blue, $30.49. Um, and then this is Tropical Winds in Navy. This is $29.49. So, anyway. So, it's actually like a kimono style. Um, it's got this detail here on the sleeves. So, these are like three-quarter length sleeves. And it's got this detail here, which I actually really liked. Um, it does not have buttons in the front. So, and it's this very lightweight material. Probably not the best material. It's not, you know, it's not see-through or anything. Like a lot of kimonos actually are. Um, so it's not really see-through or anything like that. It's got a really pretty pattern on it. It's got these big flowers and then some pink flowers. But again, it's got a lot going on. Um, and then the thing I didn't like the most about this is where these little things are um, located at. So they have them tied in here and when I tried it on they actually dig sort of into my neck. Um, they were just really uncomfortable and in order to alleviate that I would have to cut them out and like hope that I didn't cut the shirt at the same time. So again I'm not going to be keeping this one so let's move on to the next one. Alright guys the next thing I got is this pair of leggings and these are in a size large if I can find it on here. There we go. Size large. These are by Show Show. Uh, these are Capri length leggings. And they do have the mesh on the sides. I tried them on. They're cute. But I have a lot of leggings. I don't really need any more leggings. So I'm not going to be keeping these. Um, but, however, they are mesh arrow capris in blue. $26.47 for these. So, yeah. Not going to keep those. Um, a lot of these items, not that, I mean, really, compared to a lot of the subscription boxes, um, and at-home fashion and stuff like that, like, these prices are still really good, but it seems like their prices are going up, and they've got a lot of odd sort of prices. $26.47, $29.49, $30.49, it's just really odd numbers, but anyway, um, yep, moving on. Okay, guys, so the last item I got is this mustard-colored... Um, what I thought was a dress, and it looks like a dress, see, it's even, it's pretty long, it's hanging down, but when you open it up, it's open in the front, it's got this huge slit up the front, and it's actually a romper. So, number one, I am a little too old to be wearing a romper. However, if this was a dress, I think it would be super cute, like really pretty. The only other problem I found with it is... So it's got this halter top here, but let's see, I'm going to switch it around here really quick. This here is the back of it. There is no back, so you cannot wear a bra with this dress. And I am just not the type that can go around without wearing a bra. Um, not a lot of people can get away with that. It is, well, it's not really padded here. I mean, it's got a lining in it, so, you know, you wouldn't really be able to see through it or anything like that. Um, but there's absolutely no support. So, if you're small-chested, I mean, you know, this might work for you. And probably if you're a lot younger. Um, but anyway, I was really hopeful for this because I thought, wow, it's a dress. It's actually in really pretty pattern. I don't know when I would wear it, but it's really pretty. And then I realized it was a romper. And it's got that huge slit up the front. It just, you can't wear a bra with it. There's no support. It just would not work for me. So... 
This is the last item, and this is Tropical Elegance in Mustard, and it is $34.99. Again, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of these items out of this package. Um, let's see, it doesn't even say on this how much everything is all together, but um, yeah. So, I won't be keeping anything out of this package. I did want to keep that necklace. Um, but the more and more I think about it, I'm probably just not going to because it's $20 and that's a lot just for that really simple necklace that I might not wear a whole lot anyway. Um, so yeah, so, so I'm thinking about switching, um, and maybe discontinuing Nadine West, not because I don't like them because I really do. And I really like the subscription. I do like the fact that I get my items free shipping because I don't have to pay the shipping anymore because somehow I made it onto their VIP list, which I really, really like. Um, but I'm thinking about switching to ThreadUp. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know if any of you have tried ThreadUp, if you've compared the two. I have never tried ThreadUp. I've gone on there and put a bunch of stuff in my cart like I always do and then didn't actually check out or buy any of it. Um, but I've heard that they have some, like boxes that you can pay like $10 shipping um, and they ship you a bunch of clothing items and um, it's kind of the same like you just decide you try it on you decide if you like it or if you don't you send things back you know and you pay for what you keep um, so anyway and it's the same as Nadine was it's exactly the same so let me know what you guys think let me know if you think I should do maybe both um, or if I should stop Nadine and do thread up or if I should continue with Nadine West. So again, I'm sorry guys, I didn't do a try on for you guys this time. Like I said, I just don't have any time to do that. Um, my husband's, so my brother-in-law and my husband's sister-in-law are in town. So um, I don't have a lot of time to make this video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully I'll have some more videos coming up this weekend and maybe even a beach video. Stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.